Yo, 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 I'm Jimmy Newby Reefer coming to you on behalf of saltwateraquarium.com. Now this series is all about Hydros controllers. Now today I'm adding to my Hydros controller a dosing pump. Hmm, what was it Mark was saying about dosing? Jimmy, 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 how many times do I have to tell you? Don't dose your tank until your tank tells you that it needs to be dosed. You're only gonna know if your tank needs it by testing and testing consistently where you're gonna see your alkalinity and calcium levels dropping. So you gotta test and don't dose until the tank needs it. Oh yeah, of course, testing. How can I dose when I don't know what I need to dose? And how do I know what I need to dose? Unless I test for it. So I've got these HANA testers. So this is how I test for alkalinity and for calcium and all the other things. But I'm not really good about charting it. But something I discovered is I can do it inside my Hydros app. Now inside the app, I can set up a new input for alkalinity. So let's go to inputs, the three little dots, and I'm gonna add an input and I'm gonna call it alkalinity and create. And then it brings up this screen and it says, what type is it? Now I don't have an alkalinity sensor to plug into my hydro sense port. I'm using my HANA checkers, but it gives me a number that I can enter if I make this type a static input. So I'll select static input. It says right at the top that it's a static input. The next line down is units. It's in PPM. That's the units my checker is. And then uh, there's a safe range, a graph value limits, and it's all set. And then at the bottom, I'm going to hit upload changes. And now I've got a spot to enter every time that I test. That's pretty cool, right? So go back out, there's my alkalinity. Now I'm gonna click on alkalinity and here's an opportunity to enter my first value. So I'm gonna go ahead and put 162 ppm, hit accept, and it's already got the date and the time right there for me. And now I've got my alkalinity there at 162 ppm. Pretty cool, right? Now that we know we can manually enter our different parameters and chart them and graph them inside our Hydros app, and that way we'll know what to dose, we need our dosing pump. So this is uh, my Hydros dosing pump that'll plug right into my uh, Hydros. And remember, you can always look right on the box and it'll tell you right up there in the color orange that it goes into a drive port and there's also always a QR code that you can scan right there and get directions on how to set this thing up. So let's take a look in the box. Let's open this up. I'll show you the different things we got here. We've got our power cable and we've got our pump. And what's cool, this has a DC in and out. So these are daisy chainable. I guess, which is very cool. Then there's our little pump. And there's our tubing. And also a little bag with connectors for our tubing. So once you've decided where you're gonna mount your dosing pump, you can take the pump itself and mount it uh, right onto this unit. And you just push the spindle on and then you can rotate this in the direction you want the tubing to go. Whether these are really designed to just kind of sit on a shelf, um, but they've also got some mounting points on the back. You gotta make sure that your power can still come in and out. But um, well, yeah, once you figure that out, then you just put your pump on and it just clips into place like so. Because I'm just gonna set this in here for now on top of my RODI reservoir and I'm gonna pump RODI water to get started so I can get familiar with this piece of equipment and also so I can start testing more often to see what I actually need to dose. So let's continue setting this up. Now I've already put the connectors on the pump for the tubing 
um, they're supplied in the box and so I'm ready to go to uh, put the tubing on. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and plug in the power with the supplied power supply wire. There's one that says in and there's one that says out. So make sure you get that correct. Now I've got the power supply there. I'm going to plug that in and then I'm just going to plug it into my Hydros controller right here into the uh, available drive port, this orange port number one. Now remember these only go in one way so just give it a spin and it's in. All right so now that I've got it hooked up uh, to my Hydros I'm going to go ahead and add it to the Hydros app. So I'm going to go from my status screen here and go to outputs and I'm going to hit the three little dots and I'm going to add an output. I'm going to call this doser so I'll type in doser and then I'll hit create and then it brings up the next screen it says what type is it and I'll go through the menu here and find a doser here's my simple doser down at the bottom I've selected that now it's output device where is it plugged in it's plugged into drive port one and then it gives me some new parameters here I can uh, do a power safe range um, notifications I'm gonna ignore all that now because I'll go in and set that up later uh, I just want to make this work so I'm gonna upload the changes and then it gave me a new button at the bottom that says calibrate I'm not gonna calibrate it quite yet I'm just gonna go back to my status screen and see that we see it there it is I've got a doser right there so I'll click on my doser and now I'm going to uh, prime it so that uh, it will actually pump something. Priming that just means I'm going to get the air bubbles out of the line. Right now I've just run the lines into my uh, RO DI water reservoir for my auto top off. All I'm going to do right now is pump some RODI water out and back in so that I can see that my doser is working. So I'm going to go ahead and hit uh, manual dose and I'll manual dose uh, 25 milliliters. So now that I've got that set to 25 milliliters, I'll hit manual dose and there it is. It started pumping. And there you have it. I have a doser hooked up to my Hydros controller and it was pretty straightforward and easy. It's not dosing anything yet because like Mr. Saltwater Tank said, I need to do a lot more testing in there so I can see the trends with my uh, calcium and my alkalinity. So I'll know what it is that I need to dose. But it's all set up, it's ready to go. I can tweak it in the app once I know what I'm going to dose. And that's what this series is all about, bringing you all about Hydros controllers. I'm a newbie, I'm just learning. So this is the very basics. Hey, be sure and comment and, and share your experiences. Uh, we've already had some people who have Hydros controllers who are sharing their experiences and I learned a few things in the comments on my last episode about a Hydros auto top off unit that it can do a lot more than just what I'm setting it up to do in some of the advanced features and that's what you can do is tune in to this series and check out Mark's videos Mr. Saltwater Tank will be going into more advanced features where I'll be sticking to the basics as I learn and become uh, uh, expert reefer someday like Mr. Saltwater Tank or some of you. Hey, thanks for watching this series. We'll see you on the next episode. Later. Mm -hmm.